Hi everyone, this is Suzanne Wagner and I'm doing a very delayed and belated intuitive patterns for the month of October 2024. I do apologize. Um, I've been dealing with um, my mother uh, having Lewy body dementia and Parkinson's and she's kind of at the end stages and we've been trying to navigate what is the proper care for her going forward and also dealing with hospice and navigating all that. So needless to say, my plate has been a little bit full. So I'm sure I'm not alone actually, because looking at the astrology for October and the intuitive patterns for the month of October, I know all of us are feeling a tremendous amount of pressure and stress and strain. So you're not alone. We're all in this together. Okay, so if I look at the cards that I pulled for this month, in the Aleister Crowley Tarot, I've got Strength, Cruelty, and the Knight of Swords. In the Words of Truth, I've got God, Dullness, and Intimacy. In the Mayan Oracle, I've got the Dreamer and the Dreamed. In the Medicine Cards, I've got Porcupine, Hawk, and Horse. In the Ancient Egyptian Tarot, I've got the Four of Cups, the King of Discs, and the King of Swords. And in the Osho Zen Tarot, I've got Trust, the miser, isolation, and in the healing earth tarot, I've got the sun, the wise woman, and the two of wands. So what does all this mean? It's a little intense. So let's start with the repeating theme from last month, and that is the return of the knight of swords. And in this case, we have two of them. This card is a sign of the Gemini male and a person who will say and do anything to get what they want. They are two-faced and will play the game of making others feel as if they have to take sides. Hmm, does that sound like anybody you know? This is a month that awakens dreams and yet will fester those whose hatred knows no bounds. There are those that will wish to indulge and move things into chaotic excess, and there are those that will feel more and more isolated and trapped by labels in the webs of fear designed to paralyze. Duality is so clearly defined that we are looking at what it will take for a complete and total paradigm shift. Those that have the most clearly are hoarding and refusing to share. Those with nothing long for a chance to move ahead in any direction. If you look outside, you will see mirrors of all our old and antiquated selves and distortions from the projections that others want to use to impede our progress. In such an environment, it is difficult to trust and even more difficult to feel safe. Those in power want to inflame the masses for their own aims and yet pretend that they care for the people. But the people finally know they are being duped and dumped. The fake gold gilding is coming off the copper that will stain your skin if you keep wearing it, marking you as one that was duped. This month, we long for a deeper intimacy but we feel as if the stress and strain from all the media overload is actually dulling our senses. We are fatigued in a way that we recognize is not normal, not healthy, and not good for anyone, including us. It has taken everything we have inside to stand up to the cruelty that is intentionally being inflicted upon us. At least now, more are seeing the terrible damage that has been done to all of us and cannot pretend any longer that we are not being harmed. Yet, in this darkness, there is light shining through. Clearly, we need to have terrible suffering and horrible actions and projections inflicted upon us so that we stop pretending that everything is going to be fine. Wisdom comes from recognizing where we are being used and abused. Inside, we have a part of ourselves that is finally refusing to swallow the poison that wants to tear us apart. And we see that the only thing that will work is to stand up and fight for the rights of everyone even those that keep spewing the toxicity and lies that were intentionally inflicted upon them to pull our world off truth and into despair. After this month is over, we will have to figure out how to forgive. It will take a long time, but it is important to never, ever forget what one group tried to do to an entire country. Thanks, everyone.